Good afternoon, everybody, on a Friday. Our nor'easter is slowly beginning to pull away, but you can see down the shore there is no beach left at Rehoboth Beach in Delaware. We had severe beach erosion over the past couple of days. As it continues, you can see the water coming all the way up to the dunes, not far away from the boardwalk. Now, Ida, although it is going to be moving away toward, actually, the remnants are actually going to drift toward the south, that actually could be some bad news because... About a week from now, these remnants could make their way right back up into the region in time for next weekend, something that is going to have to get watched pretty carefully. But as I mentioned yesterday, uh, because this is our second nor'easter already of the fall, I think this is just hinting at what to expect this winter in terms of coastal storms. Now, it could be worse, though. The Rockies, they're dealing with a snowstorm. A lot of places could get upwards of a foot of snow, so... If you thought this was bad, it could always be snowing. For tonight, cloudy and damp with some scattered showers, mainly to the south and east. Overnight lows in the low and mid-40s. Tomorrow, still cloudy, but less wind than there was today. And don't expect much rain tomorrow. Highs 55 to 61. And on the exclusive BP Weather 5-day forecast, uh, near 60 tomorrow, but again cloudy and cool. Sunday looks super in the 60s. Ditto for Monday. Tuesday a little cooler, but still nice. More clouds Wednesday, the temperature 55. And the brand new 7-day exclusive looking towards next Thursday and Friday. That's when that uh, remnants of Ida could return once again and temperatures falling through the 50s. And I would like to make a quick note. Monday night, CBS3 meteorologist Kathy Orr will release the Eyewitness Weather Winter Forecast. I'm looking forward to it, and when I get the information, I'll pass it along to you.